We hear about COVID every day and we hear on and on about masks, social distancing, wash your hands, and the vaccines. And these things are important, but there's one glaring omission from the media discussion about what is actually killing this disease. I think it might even mean the difference between those who die and those who get no symptoms. And it seems so basic and easy, I'm baffled as to why nobody is mentioning it. Find out what and how this week on the Blue Ball Report. Welcome to the Blue Ball Report. I'm your host, Digger. Before we get started, I want to tell you about an exciting special episode of the Blue Ball Report coming up. I'm making my very first short movie, and it promises to be hilarious and very timely. This Labor Day weekend, September 5th, Saturday morning, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, be right here on this channel for the world premiere of the Butthole Puppet Players present The American Ream number two. What better way to call out a regime full of political puppets and assholes than with a butt puppet show? And on the day of Burning Man, follow the link above to the prequel from 2008 and find out more. In the description is a link to the premiere event, including a live Q&A with the puppets. Please join and share. I've spent this last weekend recording and filming it, so I have a little preview. Can you guess who this puppet is? One of the correct guesses in the comments below will get a free t-shirt announced at the premiere, so put your guesses in the comments and join us on Saturday, September 5th to find out if you won. Now back to our main story. I'm taking a slight off-topic diversion this week because this is so important to our health and happiness, I can't pass it up. This should be a common current topic in the media, actually, but I will also explain why it isn't. Why is no one stressing the importance of fortifying your immune system so that it is strong to fight this virus if you catch it? Here's the deal. Some people get the virus and never have any symptoms whatsoever, while others get it and die from it. Quite a huge range of responses, right? We don't have a cure for this disease. Everyone who recovers does so simply by the actions of their own immune systems, even if a ventilator buys them time to do so. The immune system is like the body's military fighting invaders. If you eat quality food, it's like arming your immunity military with materials it needs to build and use guns, tanks, and bombs against invaders. If you eat junk food, it's like giving your military sand or dust. It's useless. And it's not just nutrition that makes a strong immune system. It's much, much more, as I'll reveal in a moment. Now, I'm no medical professional, although I am a trained scientist in biology and chemistry with coursework in nutrition, as if that's a qualification. And I encourage you to always consider the source, their motives, expertise, qualifications, as well as the state of understanding at the time any statement such as this is made. Our understanding is changing rapidly. About 10 years ago, I came across this amazing soup recipe that claimed to be better than chicken soup, immune boosting soup that fortifies the immune system with quality materials it needs to fight off the common cold. I tried it, it's delicious, and I swear by it. For the last 10 years, I've made a pot every year during cold season and ate some as soon as colds start going around. Or if I feel the first sign of a cold, you know that achy feeling? And most of the time, I got no symptoms or the symptoms were mild and or passed quickly. I've shared this recipe with many friends who swear the same results. I'll share a link to that recipe below. Since then, I've gotten interested in this kind of way of strengthening my immune system. Now, yes, this is not the common cold nor flu, but since we already know that it's the human immune system that has so far killed this virus, it's probably a good idea to take care of your immune system right now. It makes sense that the strength of your immune system might be a big factor in whether or not you get no symptoms or you get severe symptoms from COVID-19. How can we fortify our immune system? And why is no one talking about this, you might ask? I'll tell you. But first, if you like content to laugh and learn for more happiness in life, hit the subscribe button for weekly content. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, why aren't we hearing about this? It's simple. Medical doctors get very little, if any, training in nutrition. That expertise is left for what are known as registered dietitians. Doctors are often very specialized and their expertise is in drugs and medical procedures like operations. There's this common misunderstanding that medical doctors have answers to everything health related. They don't. Their expertise is in what drugs or procedures can be used for health issues, which is usually fixing them after the fact rather than prevention. Our bodies are complicated. Many problems are better prevented through lifestyle practices. 
or better resolved by other means like exercise, food, stress reduction, etc. Also, the food industry has got our government to pass what are called food libel laws that curtail conversations about food and nutrition. I'll leave a link in the description for more information. Besides, Big Pharma, also known as the pharmaceutical drug industry, makes a lot of money to make sure you know about their very profitable solutions. Finally, we seem to live in a culture that wants a one-fix, quick, drive-through solution to every problem rather than doing the actual work it takes to stay healthy. And I'm not saying pick one over the other. You don't have to pick nutrition or medical doctors. I'm saying look into all of it for any health issue. What does a nutrition expert advise? An herbalist, a naturopath, an osteopath, an acupuncturist, a chiropractor. You're your own healthcare advocate, so you need to do your own research. And I think the best way to start is with conversations with people you know who know things. Now, I'm no expert, but I have learned a few things to share, and this episode is more to start the conversation. Asking the questions, and not just to the medical establishment. To fortify your immune system, you really need to get enough sleep. If you're short on sleep, you're short on immunity, so get sleep. The immune system also strengthens with mild exercise, so it's not a time to be stagnant, even though that's really difficult, in quarantine. Also, stress can compromise your immune system, so finding stress management life practices is key. For example, meditation, human touch, petting a dog, psychotherapy, and more. Look into stress reduction research. Also, eating right is key. Whole foods, such as fresh vegetables and fruits, are generally more nutritious than processed foods and packages. Vitamins are usually better absorbed from eating healthy food, but I'm also currently supplementing my vitamins with a daily multivitamin plus vitamins B, C, and D. Get nutritional yeast to sprinkle on all savory foods for excellent vitamin Bs. Stop or reduce smoking, vaping, drugs, and drinking. These all compromise your immune system. Find good resources. I like this book, although the last edition was in 2010, but it's still highly reviewed. It has a section called Weakened Immune System, which has a whole bunch of good stuff on strengthening the immune system. Too much for me to list here. I also consult with a reputable herbalist, and if I get any recommendations, I'll update the description below. I'm curious, how do you keep your immune system strong? How are you fighting COVID? What resources do you use? Please add to the discussion in the comments below. For now, check out my butt puppets in this playlist. Until next week, farewell and eat well.